people in Cartagena uh, are more traditional and more okay. conservative. Okay. But they are very like uh, familiar people, so mm -hmm. they are very warm and they treat you so right. So. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and today I'm with one visitor. What's your name? Uh, I'm Natalia. <laughs> yes, her name is Natalia. Natalia, where are you from? I'm from Cartagena. She's from Cartagena. So guys, if you've not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscription button. And uh, today we are trying to talk about Cartagena, like advice, because I intend to go to Cartagena, but she's from Cartagena, so she'll tell us exactly what Cartagena is. Tell us about, like, uh, if somebody's traveling to Cartagena, what should they consider before going to Cartagena? Okay, so Cartagena uh -huh. is a very small city, but uh -huh. it's like the most touristic city in Colombia. Uh -huh. So there's a principal place called uh -huh. the uh, Touristic Center, uh -huh. where it's like the most uh, it's historic places there. Uh -huh. So uh, there you can find the museums or mm -hmm. the big restaurants mm -hmm. or the big activities in, in all the city. Wow, what is one thing that Cartagena is famous for? Cartagena, like you cannot find that thing anywhere else. You cannot find it in Bogota, in Medellin, only in Cartagena. Okay, only in Cartagena you can find the uh, Castilla San Felipe. Mm -hmm. That is a very like Asian place. Okay, yeah. Where uh -huh. it, 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 it was like a like a castle for the uh, Hispanic men, uh -huh. and there they can uh, they in. They, they build it? Yeah. Uh -huh. They they could defend the city from oh, the English okay. and, uh -huh. and they have like the, the slave there. Uh -huh. So it's like a very a controversial place okay. in the city. Wow. Yeah. But it, it's very interesting because they you have like tunnels. Uh -huh. So you can go in there and see the like yeah. Uh, where the slaves were and everything. Okay, and where is other places? Like what, which are the best beach to, to go, like in the sea, which beaches? I think Playa Blanca, uh -huh, Playa Blanca, Playa Blanca mm -hmm. and Isla de Rosario. Uh -huh. uh, because the second one is what Rosario? No, the first one is, is Isla de Rosario. The uh -huh. second one is Playa Blanca, uh -huh. and the third one I would say that is Blas del Teso. Why do you think they are the best beach to travel or to go to? Why? <clears throat> are they like safe or anything? They are safe and most of them are like a very clean place uh -huh. and like. They don't have like a lot of people there, mm -hmm. so you can like uh, go to the sea like very calm and, mm -hmm. and you can wow. be like relaxed, uh -huh. and it's a very beautiful place. Wow. Like the 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 water is so blue and transparent. It's, <laughs> it's perfect. It's so beautiful. Uh -huh. Wow, that's super amazing. And uh, let me ask you. You know, you're living in Bogota. We are making this video from Bogota. What is the difference between the big difference you find people of Bogota and people of Cartagena? Okay, people uh, here in, in Bogota, uh -huh. and the difference is, this is the capital of Colombia, yeah. so uh -huh. pe people here is like more open mm -hmm. to uh, other people from other countries, okay. and, uh -huh. and they are like more uh, independent, but uh -huh. people in Cartagena uh -huh. are more traditional and more okay. conservative, okay. but they are very like uh, familiar people, so mm -hmm. they are very warm and they treat you so right. So Can you say people in Cartagena uh, are also friendly? They are very, very, very friendly. friendly. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. wow! It's and like, mm -hmm. like the, they are very like, how do you say, like warm, warm like uh -huh. hospitalarian. I don't know how to say it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so see, so, yeah, the so, people there are very. And very my nice. my next question is, what is the best time to travel to Cartagena? Let's say somebody wants to go to Cartagena. What is the best time? Maybe during this time they can find like everything they want to see. Okay, maybe in in, Jan, in June. Maybe. June. Uh huh. Yeah. Why June? Because it's not like a very a uh, touristic month. Okay. Like, because if you go in November uh -huh. or December mm -hmm. or in October. It, the city is going to be like so full, full. of oh, tourists uh, mm -hmm. and people from other countries mm -hmm. because, like I said, like I said it before, uh -huh. uh, Cartagena is one of the most Tua uh, touristic uh, places in, uh -huh. in Colombia. Yeah. Wow. So that is like the the best. Time. How is the cost of living in Cartagena? Cost of living, like uh, let's say uh, food, uh, let's say per day. How much can you spend per day in Cartagena? 
like a normal average spending not like uh, a lot if, uh -huh. okay if you wanna is if you wanna go to a, like a really good restaurant in mm -hmm. the in the historic center mm -hmm. maybe just for the lunch you're, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to pay pay like i don't know maybe like uh, 80 Oh, 80,000 Colombian, 80, pesos. Colombian pesos. Wow. So, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's like really expensive, like just for the lunch. But uh -huh. if you want to go like more in a, a low... A low area, like an average area. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe like... Uh, 30,000. 30,000. It's not yeah. that expensive. So remember guys, like uh, it's like 3,000 Colombian pesos is yeah. equals to one dollar. So you can try to get the maths right. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's super nice, uh, Natalia. Yeah. But in general, mm -hmm. I, I think that in the historic center, everything is like a little bit more, more, more expensive, expensive. Because uh -huh. everyone goes there and uh -huh. every, everyone eats there and have like all the cultural activities there. Uh -huh. So everything is more expensive in general. Wow. So. Hey, thank yeah. you for the interview. I really appreciate for your time and yeah, <laughs> I really appreciate, appreciate a lot. Yeah, say bye to my camera. Bye. Yeah, and that girl confused me with Selena Gomez. Look at her face. She looks like um, Selena Gomez.